And welcome back. The time is 647 and here's your look at weather and traffic on the sevens. We are under an ABC 7 first alert waking up to a very active weather day. We're seeing increased winds. A lot of us waking up to wet roadways, increased rain chances and then some cooler temperatures in our forecast. So I want to start by giving a live look at our Doppler radar to look over the wind speeds and the wind gusts. You can see a lot of activity in the El Paso region, but zooming in a little closer, we can see Waco tanks currently is seeing about 35 to 40 miles per hour for those wind gusts. Montana Vista looking at about 30. Horizon City similar looking at about 30 miles per hour for the current wind gust. Socorro looking more towards a breeze at the moment. El Paso Airport looking more at a breezier condition, but heading over to Santa Teresa looking closer to 30 to 35 miles per hour. Now this is for the current wind gust and a wind gust is a push of speed, a burst of speed that kind of dissipates. So this isn't the constant flow. The constant flow is more about 20 to 30 miles per hour. But again, these push of winds, uh, they're rather strong. So looking in this area close to white sands, about 35 to even 40 miles per hour for those wind gusts. So definitely seeing a wide range of those wind gusts there. We're also waking up to again some wet roadways and some rain chances for today. Now early morning we did have some moisture push through the El Paso area, but you can see right now we are looking dry at the moment. All of that moisture has pushed northwards. It, it pushed through Chaparral, through Vinton, through portions of Las Cruces, and right now it is looking stronger in the White Sands area. But that isn't it for the rainfall. It looks like we do still have chances for rain. In our forecast, we're looking at about a 40% chance of rain into the evening. So Here's a look at our future track clouds and precipitation model. I want to give you an idea of when we could potentially see that rainfall. Now this is this model is estimating about 9 a.m. We're going to see mostly cloudy conditions throughout the day and advancing this model. It looks like we're just going to be dealing with a lot of clouds in the area. But as I advance this model forward, you can see some moisture returns into the forecast about 7 to 8 p.m. starts making its way towards Las Cruces, El Paso into the evening, Las Cruces, and then heading towards Truth or Consequences into Monday evening. Evening. Now we do also have some rain chances in our forecast for Tuesday, so definitely still looking at potential for rain today and into tomorrow. Now overall today we are experiencing some cooler temperatures. A backdoor cold front moved through late last night and as a result we are waking up to temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what they should be for the seasonal norm. Now today El Paso is expecting a high of about 59 and Las Cruces today we are expecting a high of about 60. So here's a look now at your seven day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. Again, we are under that ABC 7 first alert. We have those stronger wind speeds, the increased rain chances, and the cooler temperatures. So 59, your expected high El Paso. Those rain chances exist into your Tuesday, and then by Wednesday, we start to warm up. Michael?